guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I did a Valentine's Day makeup look. So, as you guys know, Valentine's Day is in two weeks. For all those girls who are celebrating Valentine's Day, Happy Valentine's Day! And for those who are not, girl, you're gonna be like me and we're gonna chill at home, watch TV, watch a movie, and just pretend that all in a Nicholas Park movie with all those depressing scenes. Just all the love. I mean, a girl can dream, can't they? So I did like a smoky eye with pink eyeshadow on my lower lash line. And I give you guys three lip options. I give a nude, a hot pink, which is what I'm using right now, and a red lip. And all of them are actually from MAC. I'm so sorry. That's the only thing I could think of right now. Like, MAC lipsticks. I'm so sorry. But I will link down below or list down below some uh, drugstore dupes so you don't have to go and buy three freaking lipsticks from MAC. Duh, don't do that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it the eyeshadow look kind of look a bit janky when I first did. It. I was like, Ooh, should I really post this? And then I'm like, I, I can make it work. I can make it work. So yeah, let me know if you guys actually like the eye look. I honestly am like kind of iffy about it. I would totally rock it out, but you know, some people might be iffy about it. Tell me, tell me if you're iffy about it. I want to know. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and like this video for more Valentine's Day look and subscribe for more of this face and I'll see you guys on my next video. So let's get started. Taking my Benefit Stay Don't Straight Eye Primer and I'm just going to apply that all over my eyelids just to cancel out any redness and just to prime my eyelids. Taking Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, I'm going to take the shade Strange. I'm just going to apply that all over my eyelids to set the primer in place. Taking the shade Limit, and I'm just going to blend that into my crease. This is the only eyeshadow we're going to ever use in the whole entire look, except for one more. But yeah, this is just what we're going to use for now. Taking Wet n Wild Mega Liner, and I'm just going to draw an eyeliner. It doesn't have to be perfect, honestly, because we're going to smudge it later. So yeah, just do what you can. Taking my Lorac Pro palette, I'm taking that black color with the pencil brush. And I'm just going to smudge it. As you guys can see, it looks really messy right now. But don't worry. Throughout this whole entire eye look, you're just, you're just going to be like, God damn, that's so messy. But then, like, it'll come together. It'll come together. It looks a little bit messy, though. But it'll come together. And just later, I'm just going to clean it off. But I don't think it was in the clip. Yeah, hear me. I'm just like, oh, God, what the hell? And then taking my Sasatini mascara, I'm just going to apply that all over my eyelashes. And taking these false eyelashes, which I honestly have no idea where it comes from. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I used that. Bam, eyelashes done. <laughs> now I'm taking my Catrice All Matte Foundation. And I'm just going to apply that on my face and neck. Because I don't like having a mask on. So I'm just going to, I'm going to put it on my neck. I don't care. Talking. Taking my F80 brush, I'm just going to blend that down my neck and up onto my face as well. Obviously, you just you have to blend your face, right? Oh god, I'm really bad at talk throughs. Taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW25, I'm just going to apply that on my under eye. And you guys will see that I'll blend it with my fingers first just because I like how it looks when I blend it with my finger and then I will just go ahead with a damp a real technique sponge and I'm just gonna blend that in even more so it looks more seamless and then I'll do this on my other eye And then I'm just going to apply that on my forehead, on my nose, and also on my chin. This is also the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, if you guys are wondering. And I'm just going to blend that in again with my Real Techniques, my damp Real Techniques sponge. Here, I just took some lip balm because my lips were feeling really chapped. Taking my Australia's AC on Tour palette and taking that banana shade that I'm pointing at, and I'm just going to apply that on my under eye just to set that in place. 
it really brightens up your under eye. Yeah, like, guys, look at my under eye. It is so bright. So bright. Taking my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium, I'm going to apply that all over my face just to set my foundation in place. Taking my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, I'm just going to apply that all over my face. Just like all over the contour, the natural contours of your face on your cheekbones, on your chin, your forehead, your temples. Just, just everywhere. Going back to my Naked Tree palette, I'm going to take that purpley, pinky shade. I'm not so sure what shade that is. And I'm just going to apply that on my lower lash line just to give a little bit of pop of color. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Although, on camera, you can't really see it. Like, if I were to go from far, you can't see it. But in real life, you can see it and it's so beautiful. Taking my mascara, I'm just going to put that on my bottom lash line. Then taking this, the shade Strange, I'm going to apply that on my brow bones. Now taking my Tarte Bling On Blush Palette, I'm going to take that pinky shade that I'm pointing to. I honestly have no idea what it is. I'm so sorry. And I'm just going to blend that on my cheeks. Taking my Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Copper Diamond, I'm going to apply that on my cheekbones and guys, like, hold on, wait, you're going to look at that glow from the other side of my face and you're just going to be like, wow, oh my god, look at that. Oh, so pretty. And then here I'm just removing my lip balm and I'm taking Max Twig Lipstick and I'm just going to use that as my nude lip option. And oh my god, I have three lip options as I have said, and one is hot pink and one is red, and this is the nude one. So this is matte twig. Oh my god, it's so pretty. And here I am posing. Next, I'm taking the shade Max. Max shade in All Fired Up. Oh my god, it's such a beautiful hot pink with a lot of red undertones. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Is it going to die when you see it? It's so beautiful. Next, I'm going to take Max Ruby and just a random red lip liner that I found. And I'm just going to apply that on my lips. It, it doesn't really give that much color, the lip liner, I mean. So it does not really change the look of the lipstick. So this is just how Ruby Woo looks on its own. And this is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And let me know what you guys would like to see next for my Valentine's Day look. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Love you girls.